this is a, uh, about the baptism of the Holy Spirit uh, with the evidence of speaking in tongues and speaking in tongues is a supernatural gift it's given by God for uh, the use of the church now the church is a supernatural church it's not a church run by the Pharisees it's a church run by God now when God gave the baptism of the Holy Spirit to the church it was uh, evidence that the church had power where religion had none see all the religions in the world they have no power but Christ has power and when you believe in Christ when you receive him as your savior you can receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking in tongues now speaking in tongues is the evidence that you're baptized in the Holy Ghost a lot of people want to uh, speak in tongues without receiving the baptism of the Holy Ghost they want to receive that gift but it's the Holy Spirit that they need not really the tongues the tongues is just a sign but tongues are very important I hear a lot of people speaking against tongues and tongues are so uh, beneficial to the believer because you can pray in tongues you can sing in tongues uh, sometimes I speak very quietly to myself in tongues sometimes I do it under my breath and I've been speaking in tongues for 35 years so uh, it's a valid gift and we shouldn't speak against the gift or healing nothing has passed away the Bible says Jesus Christ is the same yesterday today and forever and uh, I've written a book on it this this is the uh, the book uh, it talks about this book is on Pentecost and the reason for Pentecost the reason for Pentecost uh, is simply a doorway it's a supernatural doorway which the Lord opened for the church to go through they waited in the upper room for 50 days can you believe this 50 days they waited in that room they prayed and then at the end of the 50 days there was like a wind this is Acts 2 there was like a wind uh, and it filled the place like a storm was coming in and suddenly tongues of fire appeared over the heads of uh, the believers and they began speaking in other tongues and as they spilled out onto the street uh, they were quite drunk in the spirit read for yourselves in Acts 2 they were quite drunk and people were saying what's the matter with these guys why are they speaking in our language there were different men from all over the place all over the Middle East and uh, so it was a, a gift sent by God and what was the reason uh, God, God has his reasons for tongues and the main one is that you can pray to God in other tongues and only God knows what you're talking about believe me that's important because the devil doesn't know what you're saying so speaking in tongues is very important singing in tongues is just as important uh, at Azusa Street in the 1906 revival in Los Angeles uh, brother Sima who was the pastor he would say to the church sing in other tongues and when they sang in other tongues fire would go up from the church roof up to uh, towards heaven and then fire would come down from God and the two fires would mingle people would phone the fire department thinking the building was on fire but the whole idea is that this is very important to God it shows that Jesus Christ is different again to all these other religions 
that he gave this power, he gave this miraculous power to the church, not just for tongues alone, but for healing and miracles. Remember I said it was a doorway to the supernatural. Tongues is, is a supernatural gift, but everything comes by the Holy Spirit. You know, a lot of people say, I am baptized in the Holy Spirit, but the, they don't have the evidence of speaking in tongues. And I've heard people say, oh, well, I've been baptized three times, you know, which is water. I mean, that isn't speaking in tongues. And I've heard people say, I'm learning to speak in tongues when it's a gift from God. I mean, it's, it's, you catch it through the Holy Spirit. Catch it. You can read in Acts 8, 9, and 10, uh, the moving of the Holy Spirit. When Philip was in Samaria, uh, Peter and, and John went down and they started laying hands on people so that they could receive the Holy Spirit and in Acts uh, 9 uh, Paul uh, received the Holy Spirit by the laying on of hands from the prophet and in Acts 10 at Cornelius' house Peter was preaching and the Holy Spirit came upon uh, the house of Cornelius in Acts 19, Paul laid hands on the believers of Apollos and they spoke in other tongues and prophesied. So you, you, you have to remember that tongues is very important. It's not good to speak against it because you're speaking against the Holy Spirit and that's a no-no in the Bible. Jesus said, don't do that. And the, the other thing is that we should remember that these are specific gifts for God's church and they are f for use and they are supernatural gifts. They're not gifts that you like squander around. They're gifts with specific purpose. And uh, I remember praying for a man one time. He said to me, I was talking to him about the gift of the Holy Spirit said what's the Holy Spirit and I said well the Holy Spirit is given to a believer uh, who believes in Jesus Christ and uh, when you believe uh, other tongues come and he says what's that and he said to me could I hear it so I said well if you close your eyes uh, I'll pray for you but I'll pray for you in tongues so uh, I prayed for him in other tongues and he said to me I only prayed for maybe 30 seconds he said to me after after I had finished uh, praying for him he said when you prayed for me something came out of my body and went away so obviously there was some kind of deliverance there so tongues uh, so when I prayed in tongues I didn't know what I was praying but the Spirit knew what he wanted moving out of this man. And so he got a deliverance, which I didn't know was coming. So because the Spirit was moving, now I don't always know what the Spirit is doing. And so God bless you now. In Jesus' name, amen.